Assalamualaikum dear students. This is Ubaid Rathar, a first prof MBBS student at GMC Srinagar. Welcoming all of you back again to our YouTube channel. You guys might have gone through our previous video in which we have discussed some tips and tricks for the last days of your need preparation and some ways by which you can stay mentally peaceful. Finally, the 12th September, I mean the most awaited day has gone and you guys are done with your examination. In this video, I will be primarily focusing on three things. First is the need paper analysis, second uh, is the expected cutoff particularly for the state of Jammu and Kashmir and third and the most preferential part of this video, I mean a suggestion for those friends who are lagging in their score uh, below the expected mark. Coming to the overall paper analysis, as uh, they write some 200 questions in our paper in which uh, 115 were taken from the 12th portion and 85 were taken from the 11th portion. Since the paper patterns was changed and uh, although there were some choices in the section B of the need paper but at the same time it was confusing, irritating and annoying for most of the students. So comparing it with the previous year uh, paper, yes it was a bit difficult and lengthy at the same time. Coming first to the physics, it was having some 50 questions that were uh, divided into the section A and the section B. The section A was moderate as it was directly taken from the NCRT. The section B was lengthy and time consuming for most of the students. As per the analysis by my friend Shahid, among these 50 questions, 26 were uh, falling in the easy level. 22 in the moderate level and two questions were totally difficult. So comparing it with the previous year physics portion, it was uh, difficult and lengthy and most of the students have attempted around 25 to 35 questions. Talking about the chemistry, the section A was moderate and the section B was lengthy and time consuming. And comparing it with the previous year chemistry paper, yes, uh, it was comparable. Among the 50 questions of chemistry, as per our analysis, 23 questions fall into the easy level. Uh, some 20 questions fall into the moderate level and 7 questions fall into totally difficult level. And the whole uh, of the questions were taken from NCRT. Now uh, moving to biology, there were some 100 questions which were supported into botany, uh, I mean 53 questions and zoology, uh, 47 questions. And if we talk about the level, the botany level was moderate, the zoology level was average and all the questions were taken from NCRT except to one question that uh, I think was totally out of syllabus that was based on that earthworm and all. And if we compare the biology portion with uh, previous year biology portion, the questions were comparable and this is not going to alter the need cutter. So after analyzing the whole paper, yes we can say the paper was difficult and lengthy than the previous year and it was comprising of 200 questions. Uh, rather what is used to be, I mean 180 questions. Suppose on an average, if a student takes only 30 seconds for reading a question, it makes one and a half hour for reading the full question paper and what remains is another one and a half hour that is for OMR filling, for thinking and for solving the paper. This is what makes it difficult and lengthy. So talking about the cutoff, as I mentioned before that the chemistry and biology were uh, comparable to the previous year question paper, so these two are not going to decide the cutoff. Now what preferentially is going to decide the cutoff is the physics portion. We have got some texts from many of the students claiming that they haven't even read the physics portion due to time insufficiency. As all of you will be knowing that the cutoff depends on many factors like the number of students appearing in the examination, the difficulty level of paper and the time that the students are getting for their actual preparation. So taking all these things in a view, we have concluded that uh, the expected cutoff for 15% all India quota, I mean AIQ, will be around 600. Now talking precisely about our state Jammu and Kashmir and analyzing the whole scenario Taking all the feedbacks in view, we can conclude that the cutoff for open merit boys uh, would be around 545 plus minus 5 and for open merit girls it will be around 500 plus minus 5. Let me tell you that no one can predict the exact cutoff. All these cutoffs are just tentative. It may fall and if it falls then a student with 535 markers may get an MBBS seat and at the same time it may even rise and if it rises then a student with 555 may get a drop. Now for those students who got dropped multiple times, despite the fact that they worked hard, they studied sincerely, maybe Allah might have uh, best plans for you. As need is not the only destiny, it is not the dead end of life. A person can excel in many more fields, like a person can go in civil services, he can go in engineering and many more streams. Now for the freshers and the first droppies, 
who are lagging in their score below the expected cutoff, I have some questions for you. Why were you scared while looking at the paper? How did you spend your last two days of preparation? Were you good at night preparation? Were you good enough at time management? What if you started preparing again with the same pace that you have studied with in your previous attempt? Try to seek the answers of these questions. You will definitely find a way to start preparing again for the next examination. And for the second or third droppers, I know there will be no advice. All they need is a hand to hold, an ear to listen, and a heart to understand them. Now for those students who will stand up again and appear back again in the need examination, I have three questions for them. Why are you doing this? Just imagine your parents working for the whole day to see you in a better future, whether you are doing your best or not. These things will always motivate you and they won't saturate you with the studies ever. And if a student stops without working hard, without giving his best, you are just ruining the dreams of your parents, nothing else. So my final suggestion to all of you is, work on your mistakes, you will definitely witness a change and give your best in whatever attempt you are in. Now my friend Shahid will be continuing this video and advising the students in his way. At the end, I will share some important things with you. Why do all the students need to select? So there must be a reason behind that. There are some students who don't work for a year. Then they work for a few months or a few weeks. Then they work for a few months. Then they work for a few months. Then they work for a few months. And they expect that the fruit will come. How can it come? You have studied in the last month. You have not studied in the full year. You have not studied in the 11th or 12th. Then how can you select? ठीक है और कुछ ऐसे स्टूडेंट्स होते हैं जिनको रिजर्व कैटेगरीज होती हैं और वो सोचते हैं कि मुझे कम मार्क्स लाने या कोई गर्ल सोचती है कि मुझे कैटेगरी भी है और मैं फीमेल भी हूं मुझे बहुत कम मार्क्स लाने सो so, ऐसा नहीं है मेहनत उनको भी करनी है और मेहनत कैटेगरी वालों को भी करनी है सो so, ये जो कैटेगरी वाले स्टूडेंट्स होते हैं ये कैटेगरी का सहारा लेके मेहनत नहीं करते और जिसकी वजह से वो फिर भी ड्रॉप हो जाते हैं ठीक है और टाइप ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स होते हैं जिनको घर में वो घर में अच्छे खास सेटलमेंट होते हैं वेल सेटल्ड और वो सोचते हैं कि मेरे बाप का कमाया हो मुझे उम्र भर चलेगा एंड वो चीज जो है उनको मेहनत नहीं करने देता है और वो स्टूडेंट्स भी फाल कर जाते हैं ठीक है कुछ ऐसे भी स्ट्रिक्ट स्टूडेंट्स होते हैं जिन्होंने पहले ये दिमाग में ठाल लिया होता है कि मुझे बांग्लादेश जाना है मुझे या कश्मीर में या किसी गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज में एमबीबीएस नहीं करना है और वो क्या करते हैं वो घर वालों को मजबूर करते हैं ताकि वो लैंड जो है वो बेच दे या घर में कोई महंगी चीज हो उसको गिर भी रखे बाकी बाकी चीजें जो है वो करवाते घर वालों से ताकि वो एमबीबीएस कर सके मेहनत नहीं करते हैं सो दैट दे शुड गेट सीट इन गवर्नमेंट मेडिकल कॉलेज दिस इज अ रूट ऑफ बट एक्चुअली दैट इज हार्श ट्रूथ यू शुड नो अबाउट अब ऐसे स्टूडेंट्स जिन्होंने एक दो बार नीट दिया लेकिन फिर भी ड्रॉप हुए भले उन्होंने बहुत ज्यादा मेहनत की थी अब उनमें वो ताकत ही नहीं रही है कि वो फिर से नीट दे सके So I want to say them that Allah will have definitely best in store for you. अब कुछ मस्ती बाज लोग, particularly from freshers, जो अभी chill कर रहे हैं after giving their NEET exam, they are chilling this time and at the same time, as students होते हैं, they are heart wrenching. वो मस्ती बाज लोग, उनको मैं कहना चाहूँगा that in your next attempt, आप अभी सोच रहे होंगे that अभी हमें सात आठ नौ महीने हैं next attempt के लिए, आपके साथ वो student भी होगा जिसको fourth attempt होगा, जिसको third attempt होगा. So, hey, musti musti chhod do and just go uh, to your books and study. Now, uh, as these things would have got clear to you, like uh, there is no future in school. It is just a fad. It is just a fashion. So, come out of your comfort zone, work hard, and then wait for the results. Best of luck. Best of luck.